Um, for those of you who don't know me, I'm Paul Hansen. Um, I am Chief Executive of the North Tennis State Council. I am also the Council's Electoral Registration Officer and the Council's Returning Officer. Um, and that means I do all of our elections and I don't get as nervous as I am for this one about the parliamentaries or local elections I do. Uh, and that's because I am incredibly proud to be part of a council that celebrates, promotes uh, and, and, and stands alongside uh, an NYP and a young mayor every year because it makes a big difference to the borough and it makes a big difference to us. So I get to be a more service to these this evening and I hope I don't make a message for you. There are way more interesting and entertaining people to talk to you um, so I'll try and keep it short. I am going to say that tonight in, in some ways for us is a celebration of democracy. It's a, an amazing thing to have our young people um, step forward to take the leadership roles in our communities and regardless of the result, I am incredibly proud as a, as, as a council officer, as a notional dad and a technical scout leader of your bravery in putting yourself forward to election. It is the source of some pride that I work in a democratic system and anybody who is prepared to face any kind of electorate has the officer teams of dying. Um, kind of pride in their ability to do that, to think about the opportunity to represent with us. So whatever happens, if you don't win, have another go, keep doing what you're doing, be part of our youth council and be part of the leadership on behalf of your people in the borough because you are and will make a difference. So thank you for that. The, the other thing I want to say is that slight sadness for some of us tonight um, because as, as, as many of you will know, Daniel Taylor who was one of our NYP candidates, died before Christmas. Um, Daniel was a force of nature, uh, massively influential youth council central local forum, uh, and at one point had me uh, sitting on a yoga ball for quite some time to demonstrate some accessibility issues that he felt that he needed to understand. Uh, he worked really hard to make sure that we understood how we include everybody. He did a great job of doing that with smile. Uh, and, and, and bringing some creativity to what we did and the work he's, he did with us uh, and that remains to be done, we will continue to do. Uh, we'll keep going uh, and we'll remember the example he gave us and the joy he brought in his companionship to business. This is a quite ugly demi one, but we'll try and keep on the ball on this one. I think you've got the programme, I'm going to do uh, a little bit of. Uh, 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 introduction. I think uh, everybody kind of knows where we are and I'm expecting alarms. Uh, there are instructions on the wall, but to be honest, there are enough council officers that will follow us if there's a fire alarm. Um, the loos are out, those doors are on your right, and I won't tell you how to fix your life belt. I just do that from hands up. Um, we will work through uh, two announcements uh, and some short speeches. Uh, but first of all, uh, in, in a very exciting terms, we have two minutes in the room. So uh, the, the first person to speak to you and welcome you tonight is our elected mayor, David Monroe for DV. You all look fantastic. All I'm going to say is I'm delighted, absolutely delighted to be here and involved in the announcement this year's young mayor election. But before we move on to the announcement, I would like to thank and take the opportunity to congratulate all of the candidates for taking part. Personally, and many of my colleagues here, and many of my Catholic colleagues out there, know how difficult it is to put your name forward, to stand up for what you believe in, and fight what's, for what's important to you to be quiet. So before we even get to the announcement, congratulations for what you've done. You are extremely brave. And I think we're all very proud of our young people and you, all of you here tonight. So that's the first thing I want to say. And you can imagine that uh, as a mayor, I've done my time, this is three times as a person mayor. Uh, so I know exactly how you feel. Very, very, very difficult at the minute. But you're absolutely amazing. We're also very proud of you. Now, this year's candidates are. Khalid, is there? Where's Khalid? Khalid, is there? Where's Khalid? Where's Khalid? Where's Khalid? Cameron Quinn, where's Khalid? There you are. Well done. Zach Smith. 
Well done, sir. And Sam Walker. Well done. And I do hope that the young mayor, both 23 24, finds his role extremely rewarding. You have a great time. Uh, you'll be busy, but you'll have lots of people to support you and take you on that journey. And I have to assure you, this will be an opportunity for you, whoever it is, to influence decisions, create change, and make a real difference to the young people in your life. We don't play at this. This is real, real, really about change during the old time side. And just after some of your colleagues along there, what they've achieved and how they've been involved as well. But before moving on, I'd like to take the opportunity to thank our current mayor, young mayor Max Godfrey, for all his hard work. He's been a star. And he has been outstanding in his role as young mayor. And, of course, an amazing role model for all the young people here in North Carolina. Well done. Matt comes along every time I have a cabinet meeting and informs all my cabinet members, myself, of all the things that you're proving and doing this borough. And we never, ever cease to be amazed about the wonderful things our young people in North Carolina are trying to influence and change. And if you have a young child here, or a young person here, I have to tell you, you should be extremely proud of what you do for us. And I have to say now, I've been extremely encouraged by the number of schools that have registered for the Eco School Awards, which have uh, driven all year with the help of our cabinet member. And also for his efforts. Remember all the tree planting you did on this new forest we're going to have in North Tyneside? Honestly, your achievements have been amazing, Zach. And you should be extremely proud. We've all been very interested in hearing the report that Max has presented to the cabinet meetings and about the work that he's been involved in. And I just want to say also, because I won't have the opportunity to say this again, but I would like to congratulate you and Hannah and Hannah as well. I know Mary, uh, MP will be talking about Hannah, but um, I don't want you to go away with that. I know you've only got 11 days left before you move on. But I just want to say, Hannah, we're also very proud of you too, and you've been a driving force as well, along with us. And I want to say to the staff, you work with our young people. Thank you for all the support and help you give to our young people. And I think I would like you to know we are renowned and quite famous for the work we do in the region for our own people. Many of the other local firms are quite envious of the work that we carry out in our own people and the fact of the young people we have go out and tell the story about what we're about. So I just want to thank you as well. So now I'm going to take this opportunity to hand over to Max so he can say a few words. <coughs> Complete shame, Austin. 
Um, the art is a complete understatement on the years of past life. Overall, in my year, I felt like I've always tried my hardest, and I recommend that to all the people who are feeling that. Give this position all that you can, and it will give you back tenfold. My main pledge when I was elected was around increasing the amount of schools in North Tyneside that all had achieved the Green Bank Eco Award, which is a programme schools can sign up to to make them more environmentally friendly. At the beginning of my term, we had one eco school in this entire programme. One year later, we have 51, which is, in my opinion, a terrific <laughs> Mr. Watson, 
does the council know what's going to hit them? <laughs> and I think the answer that Vicky and Anne will say is painfully yes. <laughs> Thank you again so much. And I will strive to ensure that North Tyneside is a better place by the end of my tenure. Thank you. Buzzing sound of stress. 
So I'll try and keep this as short as possible while still desperately trying to encapsulate the best year of my entire life into a few minute speech. Now, as I said, last year was not my first time sitting before the announcement of the next member of youth parliament back in 2019. I walked away from the event disheartened and disappointed. I decided that I would go run again in 2021, and as I had a big trip planned for 2022, now, I don't think I need to get into why that trip was cancelled and I didn't end up running in 2021 in fear of mentioning the big C word. So I'm currently a year 12 student, meaning that running in 2022 was in no way part of my plan and I did it over the GCSEs and the end section of my term has been in lower sixth. This sounds like absolute torture. Um, <laughs> But I decided to run mainly for the encouragement of my wonderful mum and Anne. I'll get onto my thanks for them in a second. So I was sat right there, actually. Um, <laughs> and I looked from my left and then to my right, and I accepted my premature loss. All I saw were people who had campaigned within an inch of their lives, and people who were more popular than me, or people who were smarter than me. So I waited with bated breath as they called out the winner, and I clapped in a melancholy defeat, until it finally hit me. That was my name. They <laughs> called out my name, and I got up on my shaky feet, a disassociated mess of consciousness, and I proceeded to give one of the worst speeches of my entire life, and my sincerest apologies to any of you who had to witness that. Um, and I don't really remember when it actually sunk in, and I don't even think that it has, and I think that the only time that it will is once I realise what it was looking back on it when my turn does end in the 11 days. <laughs> um, so my year as member of UK Youth Parliament is and will remain to be a year undeserving of words in my vocabulary, and I envy you if you have those words. Um, my pledge was... Um, to help improve PSHE lessons, to involve more skills that young people need into the curriculum, such as Ready for Life, mental health, education, and financial education. <laughs> and um, now, my year has been so much more than that, and the people that I've met and the experiences that I've had have completely changed the course of my life and my outlook forever, and I couldn't be more thankful. Some of the most notable people I've worked with have been the Outstanding Ready for Life Committee, which made up of a group of mind-blowing youth counsellors who continue to inspire me at every single meeting with their maturity and their resilience. And without them, I would not have been able to achieve half the stuff I did. So I'd like to thank each and every one of them for making my terms so incredible. Now, as I previously mentioned, this was my second attempt, but it's also been my seventh year on youth council. Yeah, <laughs> scary stuff. Um, and that is what I wholeheartedly credit my success this year to. And in turn, I encourage each and every one of you to join Youth Council and be one of the wonderful people who we have. But that's on another note. I'll get to my little rope new in in a second. Um, but on another note, one of the main aspects I found in my terms at MIP is public speaking. Now, I've struggled for many years with pretty bad social anxiety, and if you haven't already noticed, my shaking hands clench together tactically, um, <laughs> then I'm sure you will now. However, on the 4th of November 2022, I was granted the wonderful opportunity to speak in the House of Commons and as a debate lead for mental health, which is a topic that's very important to me personally and as an advocate for young people. While I, felt that the, while I feel as though the only way to encapsulate my thanks for this, these experiences to everyone who helped me throughout my term is to dedicate my life to North Feinstein Council, um, I'm going to have to sum up in a few words. So, um, I'd first of all like to thank all of the incredible North Feinstein Council and Council for assisting my term in every way possible. We are so privileged to have such wonderful support. And this includes my youth council, which has become more like my second family. <laughs> as well as the children's council, and namely Julia, who I would not be anywhere near the person I am today, and I do truly dedicate my success to. Um, I'd also like to give special thanks to the North Hunter's Chief Executive, 
um, for his support in listening to Max and I in our regular meetings and advising us, supporting us in our pledges, as well as giving a friendly face and simply have a nice chat with. Um, I'd also like to thank the one and only Anne Grimes, um, who without I probably would lose my head, and obviously the wonderful Vicky. Um, neither of you have ever given up on me, and you've both been such supporting figures throughout my term and my life on council. Um, I'd like to thank my sister, <laughs> who has shown her endless patience at getting dragged along to all of my meetings. And last, but most definitely not least, I'd like to thank my incredible mum, who never stopped believing in me, and is the sole motivation I need to get up every day. She's consistently proud of me, whether it's for tying my own shoelaces right or becoming a member of UK Youth Parliament. And I can't thank her enough for how supportive she's been over the 16 years of my life. I can honestly accredit each of my successes back to the wonderful woman with the blue hair crying at the front. <laughs> You're the best person I know and will continue to be my inspiration for the rest of my life. And one day I can hope to be half the person you are. Now, I know that whichever one of you who ends up becoming the next MIP will be fantastic. And if you don't get it, I honestly can't urge you enough to join Youth Council and continue to speak up for young people, whether that's at a national level or even just at your dinner table. I can put my hand on my heart and say that each of you will make a difference. And so on behalf of all young people, I thank you. And now I will hand over to Paul Hanson for the announcement of the next member of Youth Parliament. I, Paul Hanson, being the returning officer for the Borough of North Pennsylvania, declare that the total number of votes cast is 6,222. The candidate with the highest total number of votes, with 1,925 votes, is Sharon Zeng, and Sharon Zeng is duly appointed an elected member of the UK Youth Parliament.
the last couple of bits are some photographs, and I'm afraid you two have to send in a link away with me. There's plenty of tea and cake, but there's also room there. Run away and have a better think about how you're going to do better next time round. Congratulations, finally, you go to our last two candidates, and a big thanks to my fabulous team for doing all of this. Would you give them a last <laughs> Since speeches are over, you never go back. Just a point to